Hey there, Gemini. Hope you guys are doing really well. I want to go ahead and get into an oracle reading for you. These readings are timeless. Um, and uh, should you find it a year from now and it resonates, I hope it helps, okay? Uh, feel free to like the video should you be so inclined. And um, yeah, it helps my channel grow. So let's get into this energy for you, Gemini, here. It feels like you guys are actually she... <laughs> So you've been, it feels like a lot of you have been shutting off your intuition. It feels like a lot of you have been uh, repressing a lot of things. Um, it's almost as if like some aspect of repression seems like it's a, it's an act of defiance or an act of punishment. I don't know if that is for to punish oneself or to keep oneself at a distance from situations but I feel here it's almost like a protective mechanism and that's frustrating um, just because it's essentially pushing you away from opportunities that can be very joyful. It's pushing you away from opportunities that can be um, quite satisfactory. And I feel here for some of you, especially like if you've been really, really hurt in love, um, it feels like a lot of you are having like a certain difficulty healing your heart. So it's like you keep walling things up. You keep creating barriers and boundaries and like um, different challenges for yourself. So you can't feel those feelings. It's, it's, it's almost like you create like the distance. It's very uncomfortable here. You have guilt showing up twice in this reading. The oracle card here is in reverse. Here it's upright. And I feel like this is more so in alignment when it comes to love, emotions, getting our needs met, uh, being in relationships that are healthy for us. I feel here it's like we have, have so whomever I'm speaking to has been very inundated with a lot of pain. Um, because it's almost as if like they don't know how to experience love at its full potential or full height. It's always something like chipping it away or like stopping it or putting a stopper on it. Um, I do want to say also to Gemini, for some of you, you have got, well, you have a deep knowing and it's in reverse. You're the only reading so far that has had Oracle cards come in reverse. And if they come reverse, I leave them in reverse when I'm shuffling. So, um, just want to give you a heads up. And somebody asked, like, why don't you shuffle? I do shuffle. I have hundreds of videos on my channel shuffling. Like, I do this to literally save time in the upload, okay? And I can get a, a I can absorb this for a second. But um, with deep knowing, this is about your intuition. It's about, like, trusting yourself, trusting your inner guidance, your voice. And it's, like, going against it, you know? And I feel here for some of you, that may be a point of issue for you because it's like well by doing that for so long I almost feel like I've robbed myself of all of opportunities or robbed myself of experiences to like branch out to level up to be present to engage it's like I've had these like certain held beliefs or fears because it's like my pain has created this insular world for me. And so by like pulling myself back away from so many different things, it's like I have some sense of control, but I also don't get to experience the things that might be really nice for me to experience just as a byproduct of pushing myself, pulling myself away from things. Um, here you have gateway and you've got a unicorn in that imagery. So what it tells me is that um, you may be coming across a unicorn. You may be coming across somebody that kind of like wakes you up, that lights you up your imagination or like shows you a different way to look at things. They, they can harmonize with you in a different way. And this does not have to be romantic. Um, but what this offers is a completely unique and different way to look at life and to look at ourselves through a lens of compassion first, but also through, through, through kind of like an excavation, like, okay, well, wait, why have I been holding myself back from this? Why have I not been allowing myself to do this thing? Like, what is my restriction and what is the reason behind my, dis my restriction for this particular thing? Cause it almost feels like so much energy has gone into the restriction of something. It's like, but what does that matter? What is the deeper meaning of the restriction here? 
it's almost as if like some of you may have seen it as discipline, right? Like, you know, you have the emperor here as well and this discipline energy. Some of you have like been just like hitting it hard at work or maybe like the way that you go about your life, it becomes very restrictive because it's like you have these, all of these like requirements in a thing, how you see it, how you view it, how you revere it, how you like hold it up, you know, in such reverence. Like, it's like, you know, your opinion is your opinion, but also... <sighs> It's malleable. Everybody has an opinion. And what do they say about opinions? Everybody's got one, you know, and usually they stink. Not to say or diminish that your opinion or your belief systems on certain things is not valid, but like when it becomes such a strong point of your identity that you are willing to actually shut people out because you know, whatever, like your belief or like you're this and that, it doesn't really point that you have like a, um, your sense of morals or integrity. It just, it, what it's pointing to here in this particular energy is one where it's like, we have to look at why we're holding ourselves back, why we're so restrictive. And like, what is it doing? Like, is, is it, is it really about morals? Is it about your smarts, your education, your research? Is it about like, you know, what is it about? Because like, this is asking for you to become more malleable with how you approach certain things, Gemini. And I feel here you're going to start letting go of some of the guilt that is associated with why you've held yourself back in certain ways, why you've, you've created such stringent or difficult experiences to endeavor in you know or why everything has to be a certain way you might micromanage things to death because they have to be in a controlled manner why 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 we're asking ourselves why and i feel here um a lot of love and healing towards love and that doesn't just have to mean romantic love this can also talk about like our childhood association to love being loved by our parents like sometimes we don't get that in our lives and so like we have to control situations just to feel solid love can pro provide a lot of beauty in our lives and a lot of feeling solid and safe and secure if we don't have that growing up we find different ways to like control our environment so that we can feel safe right so you know it's it's asking for us to be present with the the why of it all and like allow that to actually start to change in a way that's more uh it's more um consoling connected to ourselves loving considerate healing it's giving us our, uh, ourselves back and i feel here that for some of you you're going to be connecting with a person or you may currently be connecting with a person that's starting to like change your perspective on things and in a way where it's kind it's like oh i don't have to feel horrible about how i've gone about things you know this is kind of like really allowing me the benefit of the uh the benefit of the doubt is what i'm hearing it's important to not have guilt over time that's been, you know, experienced this way. Here you have the Eight of Cups as well. So this is about walking away from a situation or walking away from a mindset, an emotional stagnancy sometimes with the Eight of Cups. I mean, the Eight of Cups is, you know, emotions. But here in this deck, it's the moon, right? And so the moon often indicates where we don't know the path ahead. We can't see it clearly. So it's like we have to walk very, very carefully because we don't know what's in front of us. We do, It's like you don't see the full picture, so you have to control every little step so you're not tripping. But life doesn't really need to be lived that way, Gemini. Sometimes we can actually just like take strides even in the darkness, and it asks for us to do that. And here I feel like you're getting a little bit of a unicorn in your life or a birth angel to do that with. So you have the Knight of Swords in this deck. This is Knights are um, uh, Kings. King of Swords in reverse. Um, it's an interesting energy just because it's somebody that is so analytical. They become problematic in their own lives. It's somebody that is so like 
needing to be regimented, needing to be reality based, needing to be like, you know, having the right words to say. And like, there's so much restriction in their life that they become like alone because nobody wants to be around them. Nobody, it's harsh energy. And I'm not saying that all of you are dealing with this, but like this may be, you know, somebody in your life and maybe you get to be the unicorn, right? Um, within this energy though, uh, Gemini, it's asking for us to ease things up and to release that type of mindset here. Going back to the drawing board here, we have the magician, but in this energy, if you look, he's like questioning how to go about things. We also have the energy of infinity here. So it's like, what has been this infinity loop that we've been on? You know, what has been the infinity loop that we've been on here? We have the four uh, flames happening here too, um, which is about four of wands. It's stability, but like, what does that mean to us? Like, like stability is almost like what rules us you know like if I can't find sure footing then I can't survive here but like maybe we need to look at it with a different sense of view maybe we need to look at it with a different way of approaching it rather than going into this infinity loop he's at the he's at the keyboard here you get to create your own music with this you get to enliven your experience with different sounds different ways of going about it this is like a full-on like uh, you know, challenging yourself where it's like you're restricted and just stepping forward into that new experience, even if it's uncomfortable. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that this is helpful and I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.